In this video we are going to discuss the concepts of layers in Lightwave Modeler. You can control the foreground background with either the controls in the upper right corner or by opening the layers panel from the Windows drop down or the quick F7 keyboard shortcut. By putting one in the background you can see it becomes black and I cannot adjust it. I can only adjust that which is in the foreground. To do a quick boolean operation we can come to our construct tab click on boolean, choose subtract, and clicking on OK, and we have subtracted the background from the foreground. Another use for layers is to have a self-contained multi-part object ready for animation and layout such as this car. We want the wheels to be able to rotate and layout as we animate it, so we'll separate the tires into other layers. We'll do this quickly by selecting the underside, selecting connected, and using the minus hotkey to hide now I can lasso select the tires, hold down the shift key, lasso the back, run a select connected, control X to cut, control V to paste in our second layer. The reverse slash will unhide. Now we have the tires on their own layers. We want them to rotate in layout around their own central axis. So we need to have the front tires on their own layer and the back tires in their other own layer. By selecting the center and running center pivot, we can quickly set the pivot point for these layers on the center of our tires. We can quickly prove this by going to the action center pivot and using the rotate tool to prove where we have our rotation. One last thing, in the layers panel we can set by choosing hierarchy the tires to already be parented to the base car. They will then come in pre-parented. For more information on layers please have a look at the documentation.